Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Carlos and today we're taking a look at another budget phone. Now, when I saw the price of this phone, I didn't quite believe it because usually phones are priced over that $100 mark and not this one. This one's actually priced lower than that. I didn't even think a phone like this even existed. So this crazy ultra budget phone, it is the ZTE Tempo X. So huge shout out to ZTE for hooking me up with their phone and also sponsoring this video. So let's jump straight into this. So this phone is not any flagship device at all. It is packing a Snapdragon 210 CPU. So it is a 1.1 gigahertz quad core processor, one gigabytes of RAM, and it also has eight gigabytes of internal storage. The cool thing about this is that you can easily expand this to 32 gigabytes of storage via a micro SD card. That way you can offload your pictures or your apps to the micro SD card. Now the thing that I love about this phone is that it isn't running an older version of Android like most budget phones do, which they always seem to be running a version of Android that is like four to five years old. This phone is running on Android Nougat. Maybe we might see Oreo on it in the future, which would be awesome. But the cool thing is that it's not running a very outdated version of Android. This is Android 7.1.1. So the performance on the Tempo X is really good. I can't base my judgment from a flagship device, but for it being a budget phone, it runs really well. Just don't expect to run the latest hardcore games, but for casually browsing the web, playing a couple of games like Mario, or even answering a couple emails, being on social media, it's gonna perform really well for that kind of stuff. Now the build quality of this is actually really nice. The back is removable, so if you do have extra batteries for this, you can easily swap them out and it does contain a 2200 milliamp hour battery. It is good enough to last you throughout the whole day. Since this isn't a very powerful phone, it's not gonna be eating up a bunch of your batteries, so you can easily expect this to last you for about 24 hours. Now the one thing that they also did add, they added a bump texture to the power button, which is great. That way you don't confuse it for the volume button. I actually like this because there's times where I'm always hitting the volume button instead of the power button and just having that bump texture makes it a reassurance that I'm actually hitting the power button. And this phone for being priced really low, it's rocking a 5 inch screen. So it's a 480 display perfect to watch those 8K videos. No, no. I know most of you guys are going to be ripping it apart because it's not rocking an HD display. But can you really blame it at this price point? The price is very low. I am still shocked how they were able to manage to put so many specs into this budget phone. Now, another thing that we do have, it is the camera. Now, the picture quality of the camera is actually a very decent camera. Of course, it's not gonna be taking the latest, greatest pictures like most flagship devices, but this budget phone will pull through when you need it. Especially when it comes to daylight pictures, it takes really great pictures. I was using it to take a couple of selfies, and you guys can judge for yourself with the pictures that I've taken with this phone through my various strips. So this phone is actually a very good phone. I mean, who is it really aimed towards to? It is pretty much aimed for somebody who just doesn't want to spend a lot of money on a smartphone and they just want something very low priced at a very budget, something that they can make calls to, to their loved ones or even do text messages or maybe just browse casually Facebook, but they don't necessarily need the high end specs. This phone is gonna get it done and especially at the price point that it's at, it's kind of hard to beat it. I mean, $60, uh, yeah. Good luck finding another phone around this price point. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smack that like button, subscribe to the channel so you guys can see more videos like this. Also, make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you guys can be notified when I drop a brand new video. Also, make sure to comment down below. Follow me all over social media, at Mobile Carlos on Twitter, at Mobile Carlos everywhere, pretty much Mobile Carlos. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.